South Africa police don't buy one young boy from Omaha Imo State. Waiting this guy do where this policeman take by him. They say they have been collecting money from this boy for a very long time. And unfortunately, that faithful day, the guy is coming out of the shop and they don't have money to give the police people again. Then they tried to stop him and the guy started running. On the process, they buy the guy. Why South Africa is doing this to their fellow Africans? Why South Africa is so disturbing to their fellow Africans? Why all the European countries are there? Taking your people resources and looting your people. South Africa, you have creating, you are trying to build an uh, uncomfortable place with you and your our fellow Africa brothers. You have South Africa all over the world. Remember that. So when you are killing, when you are buying people in your own land, remember that you also have brothers all over the world. However, let's go and look what thing that happened to our people for inside our laba international they say that uh, the shop that belongs to the ebos in alaba international again has been taken down and remember that we we'll told you people about the uh, landmark beach we are going to do the video to show you the level of uh, destruction in that particular beach right now so let's talk about these two news we we'll have at hand today so uh, my people welcome back to balabas gist if today is not the first time please you are highly welcome i want to go straight to talk this thing because the thing is paining me too much in this particular uh, video that i'm doing right now this brother is from omaka in um in imo state this guy lived in south africa for many years looking for documents that are not giving him state to stay and the worst part of it they say that this guy is ready he's going the next day unfortunately these police people and this guy immediately before the day he will travel for what reason they are looking for documents the guy they know where the guy is doing business not that they don't know this guy is staying here but because of their collecting money from the guy this is how they buy this guy and nothing will happen nothing will happen so i'm using this opportunity to tell this into my Igbo brothers is it what is happening to Ndib all over the world today any day we wake up and value who we are that day all these things will stop yes it will stop however let me play the video for you to watch and before we come back and continue policemen those ones that wear former normal clothes carrying one Nigerian guy. They were chasing him for papers, right? But are they giving papers? The other way, they harassed him. They collect 1.5 from him. Same police. They saw him again and they wanted to extract him. Three weeks ago, they stopped him. They arrested him. He paid almost 1.500. Last week, they saw him. They stopped him. He paid 1,500. So when he saw them, they want to stop him, he, he started running. Because he doesn't have money again. They're doing this arrest of purpose now, just to get money, they stop money from us. Getting to Wanderers and Bree by the KFC, I saw a police van and people cycle around. He tried to run for safety, and those police, they shot, they gone. They fought CPR again. The guy just bite his tongue and make his teeth very strong. This person we are talking about now is my brother. We are here on the street looking for something to survive. We don't do right. This brain is working. Yeah. And he's a good person to us here. We are working together. So you understand. He's doing things here. We are pleading for the South African government to help us. We need documents like paper. Because we know that uh, it's not good to be in another man country with that uh, paper. Right, another tragic incident in the midst of chaos, killings and fear of unknown as another Nigerian life lost in the hands of Sarakan Police Service. The citizens of Nigeria in South Africa begs intervention of good citizenship and social balance between the SAPS, indigenous and foreign nationals in the Republic of South Africa. We need the cows. We need our brother cows. We need our... 
Motivated by the death of late Mr. Ugochuku Bonaventure, a Nigerian citizen from Omwaka, Imo State, who died on Saturday, the 13th day of April 2024, in the hands of Sarafkan Police Service after being checked for immigration papers. According to eyewitnesses who tried to give him first aid, the victim collapsed and allegedly died at the spot before being taken to the hospital. He broke clinic. This guy we are talking about, he have his ticket and the everything, he's going home. He said he doesn't want to stay anymore. He's done. He's tired for all these situations every day from the South African police. Then I saw him the morning. We greet each other. I said, okay. He said, I want to go and cut my hair. Yes, I'm going home. I said, yes, you have to be with my brother. Then he left. I went somewhere. Unfortunately, as I'm coming out from where I went, I saw him close to the place. I went down with police surrounding him. Then I rushed there. What is happening? This is the, my brother. I, I just greeted now. They said the police were chasing him. You hold him and you shoot a gun. Somebody shot long like that. You hold him and you shoot a gun. Smoking him. What is him? You are holding him. You are shooting gun. Okay, my wonderful people, welcome back as you have watched that video. So this is how um, this is our brother joining ended in South Africa. A boy who have ready just to bab his head from out of the shop and that would travel the next day being on Sunday. He's supposed to travel yesterday. And this guy ended this way by South Africa police. However, let's go and look what is happening in the Alaba International Market in Lagos, where our people shops has been taken down by the government of Lagos for no just reason. I say for no just reason because the market had been built many years ago and for them to even do the road, they are not investing of doing the road, making it more terrible to the people, rather to be taking targeting the Igbo's business in Lagos. Let's play this video for you to watch before we come back and continue. experiment. <laughs> I'm going to to so okay, uh, how much was I for now? I I swear I see a quarter. Hey, is it all good now? I am my own hand after the walk because is there an iron? I don't do I don't do any more. 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 I don't do
my wonderful people please i want you to share this video as many as you can and most of you follow this channel for more updates as it the hot what is your opinion of what is happening share this video the family and everyone need to get the information of what is happening to our brothers in south africa and uh, also what is going on in the lagos all these things need to be documented and keep because they say the history always repeats itself and also a history will not forget Lagos people are doing it to the Ndibo today. Tomorrow it will be the Ndibo turn. Uh, my brothers, only thing you have to do is that go home and invest in your land. I have been saying that we have a massive land. Now, say, if at a cheaper, 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 uh, cheaper rent, you can get those land. You can get you, you can get land in those areas uh, 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 in Lagos. The way you are getting it in South East, you can get at a cheaper rent where you can build a massive uh, mega plaza companies you need in southeast we have it not that we don't have so a uh, time have come for us to rethink if not we'll be seeing more of this to come share this video my people and make sure say you follow this channel for more updates i see the hot we see they here they bring you updates back to back don't forget to follow and subscribe